Your Steam games don't need to load this slow. Today, we're fixing lag, long load times, and launch delays. Not in Windows, but inside Steam itself. These are real tweaks that work, from config cleanup to launch options. Let's go! 1. Turn off shader precaching. Shader precaching is a feature designed to speed up game loading times by compiling shaders in the background before you launch a game. While the sound's helpful, it can often lead to unexpected disk usage spikes and system slowdowns, especially on systems with slower drives or limited resources. How to disable it? Open Steam, go to Settings, then Downloads, select Shader Precaching, and uncheck both Enable Shader Precaching and Allow Background Processing. Warning! If you're someone who frequently switches between many games or plays titles that rely heavily on shaders, turning off precaching may lead to longer load times or occasional in-game stutters as shaders compile on the fly during gameplay. For most gamers, especially on slower drives or limited systems, turning off shader precaching can noticeably reduce disruptive disk spikes and improve game performance stability. Two. Clear Steam Download Cache Clearing the Steam Download Cache is a simple yet effective fix for a range of common issues such as slow game launches, downloads that get stuck or never finish, and even occasional login or authentication problems. How to do it? Open Steam, go to Settings, click on the Downloads tab, select Clear Download Cache at the bottom, Steam will prompt you to restart the client, go ahead and confirm. Over time, Steam's cache can get cluttered or corrupted, causing the client to struggle when verifying game files or downloading updates. Clearing the cache essentially refreshes the internal data, much like cleaning out clogged pipes, which helps Steam run smoother and speeds up game launches. 3. Disable the Steam in-game overlay. The Steam in-game overlay is a handy feature that lets you access chat, screenshots, and other tools without leaving your game. However, it can also consume a surprising amount of RAM and sometimes lead to issues like stuttering, slower game launches, or even black screens. How to disable it globally? Open Steam, go to Settings, click on the In-Game tab, and uncheck Enable the Steam Overlay while in-game. Disable it per game if you want to keep it for others. Right-click the game in your library, select Properties. Under the General tab, uncheck Enable the Steam Overlay while in-game. Why disable it? Disabling the overlay reduces RAM usage and can help eliminate graphical glitches or input lag some users experience when it's enabled. For competitive gamers especially, turning off the overlay can lead to smoother performance and fewer distractions. 4. Use launch options for Source Engine games. If you're playing Source Engine games like CSGO, Left 4 Dead 2, Team Fortress 2, Portal, or others, adding custom launch options can significantly improve performance and reduce load times. How to set launch options. Open your Steam library. Right-click the game and select Properties. Go to the General tab. Paste the following command line options. What these options do, minus no vid skips intro videos, letting you jump straight into the game faster. Minus high tells Windows to prioritize the game process for better CPU allocation. Minus threads 8 sets the number of CPU threads the game can use. Adjust this based on your CPU cores. Plus CL underscore force preload 1 forces the game to preload assets like textures and sounds, reducing in-game stutters. 5. Verify and clean game files and configs. Sometimes slow game launches, crashes, or weird bugs are caused by corrupted or outdated game files and config settings. How to verify game files on Steam. Right-click your game in Steam Library. Select Properties. Go to Installed Files or Local Files tab. Click Verify Integrity of Game Files. 
Steam will then check for any missing or corrupted files and automatically replace them. This process can fix many common launch and stability issues. Manually clean user configs. Game configuration files and logs can also get bloated or corrupted over time. To clean these up, navigate to your Steam user data folder, usually located here, slash Steam, slash your Steam ID, slash game ID. Inside, look for configfiles.cfg, textfiles.txt, or crash logs you don't need. Carefully delete files that seem excessive or suspicious, but only if you're sure it's safe. Avoid deleting important saved games or profiles. Doing this cleanup helps your game launch faster, reduces the chance of bugs caused by old or conflicting settings, and can improve overall stability. 6. Disable Steam from launching at startup. By default, Steam often launches automatically when you start your PC. While convenient for some, this can slow down your boot time and use up resources unnecessarily, especially if you don't plan to jump into a game right away. How to disable Steam from launching automatically, open Steam and go to Settings. Click on the Interface tab, uncheck the option that says Run Steam when my computer starts. Now Steam will only launch when you open it manually freeing up system resources during startup and helping your computer boot faster. 7. Tweak Steam Web Helper for lower RAM usage. Steam runs a browser process called steamwebhelper.exe, and often multiple instances of it run simultaneously. Each instance consumes RAM and CPU, which can add up and slow your system down, especially if you have limited resources. How to reduce steamwebhelper.exe processes. While Steam is running, open Task Manager, or Control-Shift-Escape. Look for multiple instances of steamwebhelper.exe. Each one uses memory and CPU cycles. To limit these, go to Steam, Settings, Interface. Uncheck the following options. Enable GPU accelerated rendering in web views. Enable animated avatars and animated avatar frames. Switch your friends list and chat to compact mode. Warning! Disabling these features will reduce the visual polish and animations in Steam's interface. Some features that rely on GPU acceleration or animated elements may no longer work as smoothly or look as appealing. If you rely heavily on Steam chat or community features, try these changes cautiously and revert if you notice issues. 8. Use Compact Library UI for a snappier interface. Steam's modern library interface looks sleek, but it's also resource heavy. If you're on an older PC or just want a faster, more responsive interface, switching to the legacy Compact UI can make a noticeable difference. How to enable the old library layout. Close Steam completely. Right-click your Steam shortcut on your desktop or start menu. Select Properties. In the Target field, after the existing path, add a space and type minus old lib. So it looks something like C colon backslash program files x86 backslash steam backslash steam.exe space minus old lib. Click Apply, then launch Steam using that shortcut. This older UI uses fewer system resources and is especially helpful for faster library navigation, snappier load times when browsing games, and smoother experience on low RAM or low end systems. Optional but helps reduce lag in the library and during navigation, especially on low spec systems. Nine. Disable Steam Cloud Sync per game. Steam Cloud is handy for keeping save files synced across devices, but it can slow down game launches, especially if you have a slow internet connection, the game stores large save files, common in modded RPGs like Skyrim or Fallout, or you're launching a game for the first time in a while and Steam is syncing data. How to disable it per game. Open your Steam library, right-click the game, click 
Properties, and under the General tab, find and uncheck Keep Game Saves in the Steam Cloud for Game Name. Benefits Faster game launches Less network strain during startup Fewer sync errors, especially if modded saves don't match across machines. Warning! Disabling Steam Cloud means your save data will only exist on your local machine. If your PC crashes or you reinstall the game, you could lose progress unless you've backed it up manually. Wrap up. With these changes, you're cleaning out junk, cutting out bloat, and letting Steam just do what it's supposed to. Launch your games fast and run without getting in the way. Some of these will be subtle, others dramatic, depending on your system and game library.